so? Your overall thoughts on the game? Well, first of all, hats off to, to Louisiana Lafayette. They're a well-coached, talented football team, and we knew what type of environment we'd get in. We didn't give ourselves a chance for a half. Especially the first quarter offensively. We were turning the ball over the way we did. Defensively, we got our hands on two balls. We picked those two balls off. Uh, but uh, they did a lot of good things. We did in the first half. I'm very proud of the way we come out the second half and fought. I think we got we did enough things in the second half to go home and build on, but the overall very inconsistent and I'm not very happy with the way we played first half. How do you feel about how the defense did the short field and put it in the Oh my goodness, I think uh, the first half three times at the turnover we held them three and out and then they kicked field goals. I mean defensively, uh, we did obviously we did a lot more good things on the defensive side, but it could have been a lot worse if the defense didn't play the way they did. Uh, but uh, you know, last year we played uh, a team that we beat handedly, and I don't think we got a lot out of it. I don't think it helped us a whole lot. We'll get a lot out of this game. We'll go home. The good news is we, uh, we weren't physically overmatched a lot of times. I think physically uh, we had a pretty good night in a lot of places, but we way too many mistakes. We're going to go home, and we will. We'll go home. We'll work. We'll be much better. The white conditions cause any problems home down the road? No, not really. Uh, this field just kind of sets it up pretty good. Uh, I think maybe Julie would think that the ball is why he's playing defense. And, uh, uh, that's something how you feel about the execution. I mean, despite the turnover, is there anything that you can do out of this offense? Well, I mean, you know, that's the second half. We ran the ball. We executed. We didn't have a lot of delay of games. We got people on and off the field. But, I mean, we just... And, and most of the turnovers the first half was after positive plays. The big big catch Soto made, and those and then the ball bounces right to the guy. I thought a really good football team tonight, Louisiana Lafayette, also got some breaks to go with it. And when a good team uh, gets those kind of breaks, it's going to be tough. But uh, it, we, we got a lot of good football ahead of us. So it's, we're not going to get down on ourselves. We got, got a lot of good football ahead of us. You took Mosikowski out early. Were you planning on putting him back in to start the second half? Uh, at halftime, uh, really, the score and everything, I told Coach Keck, Let's let Moss play the fourth quarter. We'll let Caleb play the whole fourth. Uh, let Moss play the third quarter. Let Caleb play the whole fourth. But starting at the beginning of the fourth quarter, Moss is on a drive. I didn't want to pull him in the middle of the drive. So after that drive, we let Caleb play. I thought it was important for both of them to play. Yeah, no names on the back of your jerseys this year. Mm -hmm. Explain that. Well, it's just like I told you early on. See, you don't listen, Chris. I told you we were going to be the no names. Uh, we, we don't have any players that can play, so we're going to be the no names. That's part of it. Made y'all's job a little harder? Mm -hmm. We got <laughs> Good. Anything else? And you mentioned Guillory, um, it's good to have had a couple of interceptions. We talked about him making those stops on third down, nonetheless. Well, I mean, you know, defensively, uh, we gave ourselves a chance tonight. I, you know, obviously, we did more good things on defense. Uh, it could have really, as bad as it was, it could have been a lot worse. I know three times at the turnovers, we held them three and out, and uh, their field goal kicker is very good, uh, made all these field goals. But uh, we'll, we'll get better. We'll get better overall. Uh, we're going to go home and focus and uh, get ready for our home opener against a very good Prairie View team. Been on the wrong end of some lopsided losses before. Did this, how, how does this compare to maybe the SFA or Sam Houston? Uh, a little bit of the same. Uh, I, I think we're playing a very good team, and uh, I like the fact that uh, we came out the second half and did what we did. But uh, anytime you play a good team, whether FCS or FBS, when you turn the ball over and do the things we did, because that's what's going to happen. Is you out, how would they compare to a Sam or a SFA as far as talent? Well, I'm not going to get myself in that position. I think I said too much about South Alabama last year, and we were a little locker room. Uh, I say this, it's a very good football team to play tonight. They're going to go in and win a lot of games this year. And then going into this game, first game against an FBS school, is your message to the team about that before the game? Uh, a little bit of the approach of the Magnus first game. We, we kind of know what we're getting into now, but we really don't. Just play fast, play hard, play together. That's the best thing I saw. We played together the second half. We didn't see a lot of lips poked out. We wasn't throwing helmets. We got out there and fought, and, and we played together. And we improved as a football team in the second half, and that's what it's all about. And that's kind of, in, in some of these games, like, get away from yeah. you, that's kind of a common thing. You guys don't yeah. see that. Yeah, we, well, I mean, good and bad. We dig the hole, and we got to get to where we don't dig the hole. But yeah, we, we fight. You know, we got some character. We got some pride, and I like that. Now we got to make it show up on the scoreboard. We got to go win one of these games. That's next on the agenda for us. Nice.